is there really much <clears throat> shame when they ain't even no damn honor today? How can one be shameful when they ain't no goddamn honor anyway? All right. Mike, Uncle Mike, talk to me, man. What you think about that? Is there really much shame when there ain't no honor out here anyway today? Uh, yes and no. Because, I mean, I can't pinpoint every single person. Mm -hmm. And I don't know everybody's situation. Mm -hmm. But for a person that was raised with certain morals, there will be more shame and more humility for them versus a person that was raised by someone that had no shame or humility growing up themselves. Say, for instance, a crip raising their child to be a crip. You feel what I'm saying? In, 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 in this type of world today, they would have their children growing up cursing and things of that nature. And they would think that it's fine. Me, on the other hand, I was raised with a family that grew up in the church and things of that nature. So I would look at it or look at it as something being wrong. You feel what I'm saying? So it depends on your community, how you were raised, and the majority of people of society that agrees on that on that plateau, you feel what I'm saying? If they agree more so in the favor of yes, or if they agree more so in the favor of no, whether or not it would be right or wrong, because that's really what right and wrong is. It's nothing, it's laws that has been made by men and right and wrong is the majority of people agreeing on something to be right or agreeing on something to be wrong. You feel me? Well, definitely. Jeremy, talk to me, man. What you think about that? Is there really much shame when there ain't no honor out here anyway? Uh, like Mike said, you know, it just depends. But um, uh, I would say somewhat no, because some people are just ignorant. And when you ignorant, you ain't really shameful for what you did. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Some people are just like, like I, I, that's the best way I could put it. Like, they're ignorant, and they're not going to feel shame about that. So that's I'm, that's that's where I'm at. I'm going to leave it short and simple. Like, some people are just ignorant, so they're not ashamed about that. But if you care and you, ha you have morals, then, um, of course, it's going to uh, – you're going to care about it. So. Mike Joe, talk to me, man. What you think about that, man? Is there really much shame out here? <laughs> Is there really much shame when there ain't no honor out here? Nope. Not at all. Straight like that. <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna do nothing. If they feel if they feel the shame, ain't gonna do nothing, but I, I don't have social media, but they probably just gonna put it up and they may down get likes and go viral, whatever the hell they do, and that's it. But nah. Matt, Matty B, talk to me, man. Is there really much shame if there ain't no honor out here? I, I, I was confused how I'm going to go with this, but I think there's just, I think there is honor out here. I think there's honor out here, but no, but no shame out here. And the reason I think that, I don't think the shame is coming from there's no honor. I think the shame is coming from we, we more connected as people, and people can always find a group of supporters now. When before, you was, you was kind of like, you know, kind of like situated to your community or your local area. So if people didn't agree with you, you know, you definitely felt the shame. But now, you know, you, you can your, your community your community cannot agree with you, but you can find enough people across the country or across the world or across the city or across the state that you can you can you can buy with them and you don't even feel that shame that's being you know, directed at you. No matter what you do, you can go online, you can find people that rock with it, you know, you can get on Facebook, you can find people that rock with it, and that actually makes you not actually feel the shame. I think there's in, in admiral, admiral things, there are honor towards those individuals. It just don't get promoted as much. I'm sure what you do in your walks with the kids and your martial art training, a lot of people you know show honor towards you, you know, but that's not the thing that's being promoted. So I think the thing that get promoted more is the, the shameful thing because you know it get more viewers it gets more people attention more people get more people look at the car the, the train wreck 
than you know the positive person helping the lady across the street. So I think that's the that's the situation with that. But like my main point was just saying that a woman can be a stripper and she could find a hundred thousand strippers that tell her it's okay, you know. But those people that would shame her before are still going to shame her today. But she don't really care because most people just don't want to stand alone. If you can find a group of people that do what you do, that that makes that person more confident. So I think it's just people don't have to stand alone today. And being that we we are here right now and we're talking the way that we're talking and you move the way you move and you move the way you move, it just goes to show that it is shame and humility out here because we're amongst each other talking about the situation right now. You see what I'm saying? We respect each other. So if it's a group of us doing it, it's a few others out here that do the same. Like I've actually listened to other people's podcasts as well. And they speak on positivity and things like that and how they build. So I feel like there's there's both. There's both. You see what I'm saying? You have some people that actually do have shame and humility, and you got some people that just don't care. So Yeah, because there's a there's a group, there's a group for everything, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. most people just don't want to stand alone, you know. That's where the shame comes from standing alone. If you got people that's doing it with you. You don't, you, don't, you don't care what other people say about you. You're not going to feel the shame because you're going to be like, hey, there's millions of other people that do what I do. So, so I, I'm, I'm so glad that Matt answered that the way that he answered it because right. immediately walking through it, I was about to, I mean, I mean, okay, well, so we just it from a literal perspective to the question. There is no shame. There is no shame if there's no honor. Like, if there's no honor, how what, you, what the fuck you got to be shamed about? The only way you can be shamed is if you was battling the opposite side. But I love what Matt spoke about when he spoke to a group. Because, contrary to popular belief, if there's a group of people who agree with the way that you're moving and the way that you operate, you're kind of in a good place as far as those people are considered. Now, the people who are ongoing looking at it, they might be looking at you like, yo, you should be shameful as hell. But... If you are around people who share those that level of so-called integrity or they basis of how they move, you technically you don't play within a wrong avenue if you're around like minds. So that that I'm glad you answered that like that because that that made me shift it a little bit. I was like, yo, that's that does matter. Yeah, Your peer group, if you run with a certain peer group, it's hard to be shamed when everybody everybody who's standing around with you, they like, man, do that shit. Exactly. I just do that shit. It's kind of hard to be shameful when you got a lot of supporters. So I yeah, definitely it's, like, it's just like here, here's another example. If we talk about you know outside of the United States, there's people that were shamed in their country for certain beliefs they had. That's why more people migrate to America. I've spoken to people that say you know me dating this outside race in my country wasn't accepted. But when you go to America, there's still some people that don't accept it, but you have more people that actually rock with interracial marriages or interracial couples. So those people that don't accept it, they don't really care what those two people think because they have more people that rock with it. But if you're somewhere where 80, 90 percent of people don't rock with it, that's when the issue, you know, that's when the shame comes in. That's when the person feel it more, you know, because they, they, they stand in solo. They stand in, they out, they outside of that comfort zone. It just comes from just you being a child growing up within this world and how you were raised, man, everything plays a part on your decision from a child to how to, to when you get grown. And when you get grown, of course, you can change your mind and kind of try to rethink. But if your 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 ground morals are with instilled in you, then you move a certain type of way. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a fact. yeah, it's a fact. So it doesn't matter our opinions on what we're speaking on right now is just it depends on the person that you're molded into that's that's the whole thing that makes your decision your decision or your your way of speaking your way of speaking it's the way a person was molded it's because things that molded this person into who they are you see what i'm so, saying so real quick i want to know your thoughts about this i got mixed feelings about this right here so my girl CT93, I got it up on the screen, but I'm going to read it to you. 
It says, women today are no longer ashamed of being promiscuous and dressed as slutty. Men are no longer ashamed of not being a father to their children or impregnating multiple women. What y'all think about that comment? I agree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with the second part of it because I don't know too many men, especially in our era, that ain't in their kids' life today. Because I think a lot of people are trying to right the wrongs of their fathers. So if you think about the millennials, it ain't too many men out here having kids and not being and not trying to be around their kids. I don't see that no more today. You know, so I, I think that's something of the past that a lot of people are still regurgitating. But I don't think that's something that's happening now. Y'all personally, y'all give me y'all give me y'all points of that. Do y'all know a lot of people in y'all group well, that's not you, doing the kids? You know, I'm older than y'all, so yeah. In my era, in yeah. my era, yeah. That's why I said I agree. You feel what I'm saying? But I learned from other people's mistakes. You feel what I'm saying? But I've known, I've known, I've known quite a few people that spread their seed and wasn't in their kids' lives. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh yeah, listen, listen. I I agree with the sentiment of it. Like I definitely agree with the first part, and then the last part. I mean, I have mixed fig- mixed mixed signals about that because I think I think I think it plays upon both. Like I think that uh, I think that there <laughs> I think that there there I think there are cats out here who are not ashamed, but then at the end of the day. I don't understand, like, does that really need to be shame if that man takes care of his responsibility? Because most men today are not measured by the fact that they have the multiple kids, but we're measured by our, measured by our provision. So, right. like, when we talk about these distinguishing factors between men and women, like, a woman with a bunch of kids from multiple baby daddies, we're judging her totally different than the fact that a man has multiple baby mothers because he's judged more so predicated upon can he actually take care of his situation? Because if that man goes to get with a woman, if he can take out his kids and he can maintain it, most women ain't really looking bad at you if you can maintain it because they're looking at you for provision in the first place. So right. I think it's one of them things that's channeled by what people expect as far as value. Like men, a man going into trying to approach a woman and you see she has multiple baby fathers, it registers a little different because it's all about what you're looking for from that woman. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's an offset in there. I think I think there's a double standard that runs in that, which is kind of make it a little, a little iffy. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking at it from the perspective of what it is that men, that women look for when they approach men. And I say this, I say this too. This is just my opinion. I don't got no facts to back this up. But I think that I think a lot of women also conflate a man not being in the household with a man not taking care of his kid. And a lot of women conflate that a man not being with the baby mama is not is not caring about the kid. I've seen that happen a lot of times way back. Well, if he cared about the kid, he would still be with me. Well, that's two different things. A man not a man not dealing with you a man not dealing with you is not the same thing as a man not dealing with his kid. And a lot of women use that and, and say that same phrase <laughs> when that's not the same thing. That's completely two different things. Well, you know, it ain't nothing like a woman scorned because they're going, it's going to be emotions involved, involved. So they're going to use that. And if you're not going to be with them, then it's going to be trouble within that, that co-parenting situation. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I may not be like that all the time. I got it. It may not be like that. Huh? It may not be like that all the time, though. It just all depends on who you, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who you lay down with, like, you know, who you had these kill. You don't know the realness until after, you know what I'm saying, that situation come about. So, right, right. you know, you, you right. and when you land down, when you, you know, you thinking shit, everything good. Hell, I, I ain't think this motherfucker do this to me down, got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We start talking, I can't see my child, some shit like that. So it all depends on the type of female, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you that's what I, was, I was talking about the type of female that Maddie B was bringing up. That that's the type of female we were talking about. What you said, the female said, like she's thinking, oh, he didn't want to be with me or something like that. Yeah, a lot of females can say that. That's two different things, right? 
Yeah, even with Mike, J Mike, Mike Joe just made a good point when he was saying that, um, oh, damn, I forgot, I just lost my train of thought. He was saying something about the damn female. What would you just say, Mike Joe? About what? Talking about if the, the female, what, like, would be different, depend on, it all depends on, like, whatever the situation come about, like, you'll see the realness, you don't know who you lay down with, you yeah, know. Yeah, you were saying about keeping you away from your kids, that, that's what you were saying. See, a lot of people automatically assume that if a dude isn't involved with his kid's life, that he's just spreading his seed and just walking away, too. A lot of times, it's the person keeping the person from the kid as well, but they still throw all that into one pile. Exactly. So it's that's, that's what was about to bring me to a question, just off topic. But I think it kind of relates to this conversation right now. So say, for instance, a female had a child by a man, and the man ain't in the child's life, or the man, she's keeping the child away from the man. You know what I mean? But he's capable of taking care of that child, and she wants to be selfish because she loves the child so much that she just wants to be selfish and keep that child in poverty and not able to take care of that child and continue to be on food stamps and things of that nature. But she always says that she'll never give away her child. Would you consider that selfish when the child could have a better life either with his father or either up for adoption? Hey, I definitely agree with what you're saying about that. A lot of females are oh, definitely, definitely selfish. selfish. A lot of females are jealous of the father. You know, they're jealous of the father maybe have a better house than the mom. He may be in a better situation with the mom. And every time the kids come over there, they come back, they see the difference. And a lot of women have stopped the kid from going over there because they feel like my kid is having a better time over there. My kid is coming back with these stories over there that I can't live up to over here. You know, I've, I've, I've seen I that think... happen. <laughs> That, I, think, that, I, think that, that, I think a lot that's of people. I think a lot of people. Huh? Go ahead, that's Mike. That's that emotional shit. That's that emotional shit to me. Cause you, you, you doing that. You, you being jealous of. You know what I'm saying? The kid going over there, and you know what I'm saying. Whatever they do is whatever they do, and come back and you know what I'm saying. The main priority is supposed to be the kids. You know, right. it ain't about like what they did and all that. You should be glad they came back. You know, safe and sound. You know, no harm done. It should right. be strict. That should be the main fact. It shouldn't be, oh, you did better. You went and did this. I need to try and top you. I need to go and, oh, you can't go back over there because I can't do this for you. It shouldn't be like that. Yeah, one, I, thing I, I, say, I, I, I one thing to say right quick. Now, this needs to be a different topic with females on the show because I, you'll see the difference within the responses. I promise you, you will. This is more of a, a logical way of thinking. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I yeah. think that needs to be brought up again in the future, KJ. I agree. Just hey, just KJ, on. I need to be in that one too. Straight <laughs> up, I I know how many people you could put in at a time, but I want to be in that one for sure. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, we definitely can do. It. We got 